Jeremiah 51 is an interesting chapter because it's sort of a run-on chapter from Jeremiah 50. It's all about the judgment of Babylon and the escape of Israel from under their dominance. Now, here's the weird thing about it, is God himself used Babylon to take Israel into captivity, and now he's going to punish Babylon for doing the thing he used them to do. So you might think, what in the world? Why is God punishing Babylon for doing what he told him to do? Well, here's the deal. Israel had sinned so greatly and had gotten involved in idolatry and all the things that God told them not to that he allowed an evil nation to take them into captivity. But God still loved Israel. God still was going to redeem Israel. And when Babylon had gotten so mighty, so proud, so all about themselves, God says, now's the time. And he tells Israel to flee. One of the scriptures that comes to my mind is Romans 8, 28, where God works all things together for the good. So he takes what is evil and he even uses it for his good by disciplining Israel, but then now disciplining the nation of Babylon. And he tells those in Israel, listen to what he says, flee from the midst of Babylon and everyone save his life. Do not be cut off from her iniquity, for this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. He shall recompense her. So he says, get out. I'm going to deal with them. God, God sometimes will, will do things we don't understand at first, kind of like the disciples didn't understand the cross and what God was doing. And he was using the Romans. He was using evil to bring forth good. And sometimes it takes a while for us to realize that God does indeed work all things out together for the good. So he challenges them to leave. He, he, he's calling them out. And, and he sends a message to the people there in Babylon. I, it's kind of like a parable at the very end. Now it shall be when you have finished reading this book, you shall tie a stone to it and throw it out into the Euphrates. And you shall say, thus Babylon shall sink and not rise from the catastrophe that I will bring upon her and they shall be weary. Thus far are the words of Jeremiah." So God uses this little illustration of taking what he wrote and how he's going to bring judgment, tells them to tie a rock on it and throw it in the river. Kind of a picture of what's going to happen to Babylon. They'll sink, and here's the deal. They never rose again. So God in this chapter, Jeremiah 51, uses Babylon's evil to bring forth good, and then God deals with Babylon in a way, well, that they deserved because they had turned so far away into ungodliness towards the Israelites. God is just, God is holy, and he always does what is right.